we are here to calculate the change in entropy in different thermodynamic processes. So let us begin with our very first process, which is an isothermal process. We know that in an isothermal process, the temperature is constant. And so dt, which is the change of temperature, is zero. So proceeding with this fact, we can say that for the total change of entropy, we can say that delta S is basically dq over t's integral over the limits f and i, right? And where dq is basically what? The change of heat energy. And from the first law of thermodynamics, we can say that dq is equal to du plus dw, where du is the change of internal energy. Now, the change of internal energy in an isothermal process is basically zero because the change of temperature over here is zero. So this is zero and all that exists is basically dq is equal to dw, where dw is the network done, right? And then again, the network done dw in any thermodynamic process is basically PdV, right? Okay, so we can say that delta S over here is basically, right? Okay, so from the ideal gas equation, we can write that PV is equal to nRT, right? And P over T, as we have over here, is basically nR over V. So let's, so let's plug this thing inside of here, and we have that delta S is basically, right? And over here, N and R are constants, where N is the number of moles of ideal gas and R is the ideal gas constant. So delta S is basically... Okay, so let's move on to our next thermodynamic process, which is an isochoric process. Well, in an isochoric process, the V, where the volume is constant, right? Moving on with the fact, then we can say that the isochoric process, as we have discussed earlier, the PV diagram for the isochoric process is basically like this. Okay, so we know that delta S, which is a change of entropy, is basically this, right? And dQ is basically du plus d. W. Okay, so since over here, the W is zero, because there is no change of volume, we can say that dQ is basically du, which is basically the change of internal energy. So we can write the change of entropy in accordance to this as that this is, right? Okay, so we can again say that delta S is basically, this is because du is equal to n c v d t, right? We have just used this over here. Okay. So we can say that delta S is basically, and doing some basic calculus, we can say that moving on with our next thermodynamic process, which is an isobaric process. Sorry for the interruption, but if you're interested in having more educational contents, then please go and join NodeBasket. NodeBasket is an educational group that provides tons of educational materials for free. I'll slide in the link to NodeBasket below in the descriptions. For now, let's continue with the main topic at hand today. The PV diagram of an isobaric process is kind of like this. So over here, the pressure is constant. And then again, we know by definition that the change of entropy is basically this. And from the first law of thermodynamics, we can write this as du plus dw over t, right? And so we can distribute this in such a fashion that we can write du over t plus then again, the integral of d w over t. Okay, so over here, du can be written as this in cv dt, since volume 
changes as well. So we kind of process it in such a way that first in this portion, the volume remains constant in order that the entire system kind of goes through a change of its internal energy. And over this, the system kind of does an external work. Okay, so we can write this as and over here dw is p dv right so we can write this over here as okay now we again know that pv is equal to nrt and over here we have p over t right so we can write p over t as n r as n r over v so we can proceed with the fact that delta s over here is since over here n and c v are constants and over here okay so we can simplify things by doing some simple calculus as well here you go this is the change of entropy in an isobaric process and all that we are left with is an adiabatic process Well, in an adiabatic process, by default, we know that the change of heat energy is zero, which means there is no change of heat with the external surroundings to the internal system. So we can say that in the expression that represents the change of entropy, the expression kind of stands like this, where dq is basically zero. And since dq is basically zero, there is no change of entropy so we know that in an adiabatic process there is basically no change of entropy okay well here you go these are the four thermodynamic processes and their mathematical expressions deriving their change of entropies as well so here is a chart showing the different expressions that show the change of entropy, the work done, and change of internal energies of the different processes in a thermodynamic system. Well, if you can remember this, then I guess it will help you in exams. Well, that's all.